everybody in here. Guess what? I haven't even like washed my hair. I did manage to put on a bra today, but my old neighbor Denise came over and she brought me a bunch of stuff. She brought me a blanket. She brought me some canned goods, some chicken. But can you see what's in there? You see that? That's a 300 gallon water tote. We're going to wash it out right now. What do you think, Andy? I like it. <laughs> I'm having a man do the driving because you know I get nervous. Seriously, just driving anything, anyhow. So uh, he knows how to drive with a big fat load on. So we're gonna get turn right onto Mount Pleasant Road. What? Oh, I had a GPS on because I was afraid <laughs> I didn't know how to get here. So we're gonna go wash it out. Oh my gosh! Getting it all clean. I cannot believe I got this. I just can't believe it. There it is, folks. Now, I don't have that attached. I'm going to clean that off and decide whether I'm going to try and get it to go just down into here or if I'm going to like put a little screen over it and get it to drain down into there. I don't know which one is going to work better, but yep, I got to clean that tarp up. Andy and I got it off of this truck. <laughs> and over here all by ourselves it's got uh, already got a spigot it's got a little hose on it oh my gosh we took it into the car wash and got it all cleaned on the inside eventually I'm gonna spray paint this whole thing black I can't freaking believe it thank you Miss Denise and thank you Andy Moving on up, Miss Ann. <laughs> I am I am yes here it is guys. Okay, I had to do this just a teensy bit differently. I did put the, the twigs in it, or sticks, rolled them together, bungeed it. I don't know if this is gonna hold it. I mean, it was holding it before, so I don't know. I decided not to use the cap and you know take the little part out in the middle and put it down in there, just because I don't know how this is gonna move around. You know, if I was sure that I could get, get it in that hole and get it to stay in the hole, um, then I would I would do it that way but instead so I've just uh, put this screen on and I have made a little little dip in it here um, I don't know if I should do that or not or just keep it flush I figured this way if it's I don't know I it, in my mind I think the water will go in better and I'll just have to scoop anything out that gets in there um, and plus if I had it flush this would be up more and I'm afraid that you know, surface tension and whatnot would make the water just go that way. Um, so, I don't know. I think I'm going to test this out. And also, it was, the wind came up a little bit, so I decided just to take this little, you know, rope and kind of tie it on this side and then again over on the other side to keep it from going really, really super high. Um, so hopefully this will be enough to keep it down. And then I've got this secured over here with this bungee. Um, it was working okay with the big black one. But I don't know. This is, this is just so much bigger, so I don't know. So I am going to get some water and climb up here and just see, see what it's like, me pouring water down it. <laughs> got me a gallon jug, and I'm just going to start pouring it. Let's see what happens. Oops, that's my sore shoulder. No. See that? It's coming down right here. It's not coming out. I did something wrong. All right. I used one piece of bamboo and another stick about the same size, brand new. Those other sticks were getting kind of soggy anyhow. So I'm going to try and pick this up and see how it goes. Well... This, is, this would demonstrate a hard rain, okay? <laughs> and it's not 100% efficient, but at least it's going in there now. I think, I think there's one more thing I can do, but I think that I am just going to let it go like this and just see how it does. Another thought that I had was getting a little piece of PVC pipe right here because it seems like it's getting stuck. This is too tight, but it's got to be tight because it's got to hold these together. But put some PVC down there and have the PVC coming out um, so this isn't collapsing. You know, I've even got it around the wood. I'm, I'm sorry, you can't even see. Around the wood and the bamboo, but it's somehow it's still, I don't know. So I think I'm just going to leave it like this for now. The water is going in. And uh, I think I'm going to capture quite a bit of water, but it can be made more efficient, and I definitely plan to do that. 
Now, as far as these two, this rain barrel, this is full. This is basically full. Um, I think what I'm going to do is get as much of the water out of them as I can and move them underneath the you know, underneath the roof of the tiny house and collect water passively that way. It's not going to be as much, but I'm hoping that someday over there I'll be able to get some some gutters on each side and then bring them down to one central place and then move this tank over there against the tiny house. And then I can just have a secondary water catchment system over here. But this is 300 gallons and, yep, I need to paint it black. There's lots of, there's algae on the outside. There's still algae on the inside. Just a tiny bit. We got most of it out. Um, but I think, he, I think I can clean it with bleach. Uh, put some bleach down in there and hopefully let that kill that. So, yeah, I got a 300-gallon water tank. Now, I won't be drinking water out of here, of course. Um, you know, there was probably algae in my other tanks, but not as much because they're black. I've got my little homemade water filter out here. So what I will do after I get this, you know, sufficiently clean and I'm satisfied with it, um, before I use this for anything inside, I'm going to run it through this filter. And then if I'm actually going to drink it, I'll run it through the Berkey. So this is absolutely amazing. Look at that, you guys. That thing is huge. I can't believe it fit in the back of my truck. And it's got a spout. It's got a little hose. I'm going to have plenty ways to capture water. What a relief. Thank you, Miss Denise, and thank you, Andy, from Andy's Tennessee. I, why do I always stutter when I say that? Andy's Tennessee Life and Homestead and neighbor Denise. Denise gave me the, the tote. Um, Andy just helped me get it over here and get it set up and whatnot. Um, just thank you so much. This is going to make such a huge difference on this homestead. If I can get this tank filled up, I don't think I'm ever going to have to worry about water because I've got all these other water catchment things going on too. So, oh my goodness, this is unbelievable. It's the day after I got the water tote and guess what? It rained last night. It rained, it rained, it rained. I so much wanted to be awake when it was happening. Yay, that's all wet. Everything is very, very wet. A couple buckets filled up over there. So let's go see how the water tote did. Hmm, I don't know how much water is in there. Let me look. It looks like the top stayed together pretty well. So, hmm, it's so hard to tell because the outside of this needs to be scrubbed too. Let's see. I didn't get a whole lot of water. I got some, maybe about this much, but in a tank that big, I don't know, that may be 10 or 20 gallons, not sure. So today what I'm going to do, there's a little piece of PV, PVC pipe up there. I'm going to put that in it and see if I can get that to work to make it drain a little bit better. And I'm also going to put some bleach down in there. There's still a little bit of algae left and I'm going to kill that. So I need to read up on how much. I think I don't have to add very much. I know that much. Um, and I was going to... Um, put the bleach in there and then drain it out. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put enough bleach in there to kill what's going on and as the water fills up um, it'll be in the right concentration or whatever. So I'm going to think that through. But I don't know. I got a little bit of water. It didn't. It must not have rained very hard um, because it didn't wake me up and I really wanted to be able to come out here and be the one to see it in action. But um, it's going to rain again. I'm pretty sure. Okay, y'all, I have found a little piece of, well, I'll show you, and it has at least temporarily solved my little problem with the water not draining down like it should, so let me turn this around and show you. Now, I still do need to cut a piece of this PVC pipe to fit down here and to come out to about right here and go all the way through here, um, but look at this. I found this little piece of metal siding, whatever it is, and um, I just kind of folded it um, up a little bit and stuck it underneath there and wash this now. Whoops. The problem isn't only that it's not draining through this end. I'll tell you in a second. Here, let me show you. See? All of that water that was escaping down there is now going into is now going inside. See? I don't know if you can even see it. I've got my glasses on. I can't see it very well. Nothing is coming out of here. It is all coming out from underneath here. 
And the reason why is because this part of this tarp is all worn up. And it's all, there's little holes in it, um, so it's not coming out here. But even if it does collect up here, it's still going to be captured and go into there. So, um, temporary fix, definitely. What I'd really like to do is get rid of this whole thing. And, well, not the whole thing. Keep the tarp. But get a piece of a downspout and wrap the tarp around that and have it go into that. So, But anyhow, I think this will work temporarily. I wanted to get something up that would um, capture more of this water for me. Um, and it's still draining. See that? It's still draining. Uh, because it's supposed to rain some more. And also, I did put some bleach down in the bottom of there. And I was going to put the bleach in and drain it, but I'm not going to do that anymore. I am just going to leave the bleach in it. Um, I put less than what you would need for a full 300 gallons because there's not even 300 gallons down in there. I don't know. You can't really see. Um, there may be 20, 30 gallons down in there in the bottom. Um, but I'm not going to drain it. I just wanted to kind of shock the bottom of the tank where there's some algae. And then I have to figure out how I'm going to cover this or paint it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave that water in there with the bleach by the time it fills up and I won't be using this for anything until I've got a full tank of water because there's too much bleach in there uh, for human consumption, you know, right now. Anyhow, what's next? Check it out, you guys. I haven't even had coffee yet this morning. I was so excited to find out that it had rained. I ran out here, fed the chickens, and then I, I just started working on that. I have not had the... Goodness, chickens. <laughs> Oh, Romeo got his favorite hen. Um, anyhow, what was I saying? See, I can't even think without coffee in me. So, I've done this whole day in reverse. <laughs> Alrighty, I, I'm going to go make myself some coffee. And um, then I, I need to filter some water for the inside. So, I'm going to gather some water um, from the other tubs that I have. And I'm going to try and get those, uh, the big black tubs, emptied enough so that I can move them against the tiny house so I can start capturing rainwater into them. Uh, everything's pretty full right now so I'm going to have to figure out what to do with water. I think I'm just going to I'm gonna filter a whole bunch of water. Anyhow, that's it guys. I haven't even had my coffee. I bet you're all sitting around having your coffee and here I am out in the mud playing around. I love it. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.